Hose here on Star 96.7 at 719. High of 86 with a chance of thunderstorms later on today. It's 73 in Willowbrook. And the Crest Hill Lions Club hosting their annual Lions Luau this Sunday. Joining us this morning with a rundown, our former president and Luau chairman, Nate Albert, and former director, Eddie Rudiger. Good morning, guys. Good morning. morning. <laughs> Very excited. For, uh, every year, it seems like you try to one-up yourself from the, from the last year. And I remember last year you talked about you had all the bands and all the food. This year is pretty big. And I, I love what I'm seeing here. You gave me this flyer. And I, I got to start out with fire dancers. <laughs> you well, have fire dancers this year. We've had fire dancers every year since our first luau. Really? And this year we're upping the ante. Our fire dancers have a newer routine. They're going to be doing a couple things a little differently. So they're probably one of the mainstays. And I would say that they're probably the transition point for our luau mm -hmm. because there's tons of events going on at St. Joe's Park every weekend, all summer long. We try to give something for both sides of the family. We want to give something to the parents and the adults, and that's something for later on in the afternoon, late night, when our, after the fire dancers. And we're going all the way to 10 o'clock. But we start at noon. Mm -hmm. It's an all-day thing wow. at uh, St. Joe's Park. 700 the Theodore Street in Juliet. And that's the thing. Now you have something to bring the kids to. Mm -hmm. And we have the petting zoo. And you want to talk about upping the ante? We did our first petting zoo last year. This year's petting zoo will be three times as large. Oh, wow. And there's a jump house from noon to four, which we, what kid doesn't love the bounce house? Or me. I love the jump house. <laughs> Come on. That's amazing. Now, uh, another big part of this uh, Lions Luau that's uh, coming up on Sunday from noon to 10, lots of live music. Absolutely. Our, our live music, we have the baked potatoes going on at 3 o'clock, and then we have the Wave Runners um, at 7.30 on the main stage. And then um, we have a DJ performing throughout the whole day, filling in between the bands, interacting with the kids, you know, all day long. We've got music and entertainment going all day Long. Lots of food and drinks and bingo. Not going to lie, big fan of bingo. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, we have bingo inside the main. And the best part about it is it is open to the public. There is no charge to get in. Totally free. What? Totally free. Wow. We so, have our car show going on from noon to four. If you want to enter a car show, it is a $15 registration fee to enter the car into the car show. You do get a meal ticket for your entry. Um, so just pull on out, come on out at 12, at 12 o'clock. They start, actually, they usually start lining up about 11.45, getting them in. Mm -hmm. So Now, I wanted to ask, uh, Nate, we were talking about this off the air. Uh, people think of the Lions Club, and they might think elderly people <laughs> on the, you know, with the, the mints that they're handing out and the, the Tootsie Rolls, but the, the Crest Hill Lions Club, actually, you guys have quite a few younger members. I, I'd say it's one of the youngest around. Uh, I started uh, 15 years ago, and I was one of the youngest when I started. I brought a few of my friends in, and it kind of kind of has blossomed that we uh, we do have probably an average age around 35, 40 years old. Okay. And what what kind of stuff in the community uh, does the Lions Club do? Well, the main goal of Lions Club International is to raise money for people with vision and hearing impairments. That's the main goal of, of the of International Lions. Um, however, a lot of the money that's raised locally between the clubs is spent locally. Uh, some of the community things we're involved with, we uh, support the D.A.R.E. program in the, the city of Crest Hill. Uh, we have gave substantially to the uh, White Oak Library District here in Crest Hill. Uh, we've donated most of the computers in the computer lab. Uh, we, we, we sent a check off to the uh, Coal City Tornado Relief just this last summer, a substantial check. We've also uh, given big to the uh, sports programs in town. So this luau is you would consider this a fundraiser for like the car show when people come and they bring their cars in and that that registration fee goes to the Lions Club to help the community. Absolutely, you know, and and we we wouldn't be anywhere without any of our sponsors too. We have some huge sponsors this year, of course, Mr. Terry Darcy from Darcy View of GMC. We have to thank him. He's been a longtime sponsor of our organization, uh, Republic Services, Carol News. The list just goes on and on of great contributors in the area. Now I don't I don't want to put you on the spot if the answer is no, but is there a pig roast at the Luau? We've been talking about that for actually the last <laughs> four years. Uh, as much as we want there to be, there's so many health oh, okay. issues and will kind of yeah. So okay, it's an obstacle we're trying to trying to work out. But there will be fire dancers. 
and food and bingo and drinks and a car show and music. I mean, there's everything here. Mm -hmm. There's everything. So it'll be a really good time uh, for the family uh, out at St. Joe's Park, uh, noon to 10 on Sunday, 7, uh, 700 Theater Street in Joliet. Anything else you guys want to hit before we let you go? No, oh, just stop by, have a Mai Tai or a Summer Shandy. I'll be serving all day long. Ooh. All right. And remember, it's free and open to the public. So if, if I, like, I live in Romeoville. I'm not a Crest Hill resident. I can show up. Absolutely. Oh, wow. Even if I'm me from all the way in the southwest suburbs, I can still show up? Absolutely. Anybody can show up? Anybody can show up. <laughs> it is completely open to the public. We raise our funds off of the beer tent sales, off of the kitchen sales, um, the registration fees, um, the car show, mm -hmm. bingo we raise funds off of. I mean, and there's other charities that are going to be out there also that help us put this on for the public. Mm -hmm. um, so they'll be raising funds, and and finally we we have tons of raffles and um, silent auction items and stuff going on where you can actually bid on stuff and you can buy raffle tickets um, and you have chances to win items. So those items are another way we raise funds, and then we again keep them. Most of the funds stay very local here in the community. Well, it's this Sunday from noon to 10 at St. Joe's Park, 700 Theater Street in Joliet, the Crest Hill Lions Luau. Again, free, open to the public, family, uh, going to enjoy all kinds of different things, live music, fire dancers, uh, car show uh, from noon to 4, uh, Penning Zoo and Jump House, noon to 4. Uh, you guys on Facebook, a website? Uh, face, uh, we are on Facebook, just search for the Crest Hill Lions. Uh, we're also, we have a website, CrestHillLions.org. All right, thank you so much for coming, Nate thank Albert. You. And Eddie Rudiger from the Crest Hill Lions Club. Thanks, guys. I hear they're also part of the fire dancers. <laughs> That's what I hear. Eddie, they are on is fire. Eddie, Eddie going to be up there spitting fire <laughs> out of his? Spin poi. Don't underestimate me. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's not much going on in the roads right now. So